can't drink ocean water, Kitty. It's salty. Why? Hmm, that's an excellent question. Hey, friends, I'm sure while taking a dive in an ocean, you must have got a little taste of its salty water, making you wonder who must have added so much salt to it. Well, in today's episode, let us try to debunk this mystery and answer a deep question. Why is the ocean water salty? Zoom in! The world is surrounded by water. In fact, oceans cover 70% of Earth's surface and account for about 97% of all water and approximately around 3.5% of total ocean water is salt. Which may not sound like too much, but it works out to 120 million tons of salt per cubic mile of sea water. But the vital question is, where did all the salts come from? Well, salt in the ocean comes from mainly two sources runoff from the land and openings in the sea floor. You see, when the rain forms and pours through the air, it collects carbon dioxide from the atmosphere on its way, turning the fresh water slightly acidic in nature. And once this acidic water meets the land surface, it erodes the rocks and picks up small amounts of salt and other dissolved minerals already present in the rocks. At this point, the water is still basically fresh. There is some salt in it, but usually not enough to make it undrinkable. But when this mixed rainwater makes its way to the ocean, over there, some of the dissolved minerals, such as calcium, are extracted from the water by the organisms through a biological process. But salt tends to remain, thus making the water undrinkable and salty. But not only that, another factor responsible for turning the oceanic water salty is hydrothermal fluids, which come from vents in the seafloor. You see, when the salted ocean water seeps into cracks in the seafloor, over there it gets heated by magma from the Earth's core. This heat causes a chain of chemical reactions and the water tends to lose oxygen, magnesium and sulfates and pick up metals such as iron, zinc and copper from surrounding rocks. The heated water is released through vents in the seafloor, carrying the additional metals with it. And as a result, the ocean water gets saltier. I know what you guys are thinking, but why aren't lakes and rivers salty? Well, these water bodies have some amount of salt in them too. But as they are continually flowing, it's hard for the salt to get accumulated and get carried away into the ocean, rubbing most salt into its wound. <laughs> but remember, this salted water is home to many aquatic animals and plants and plays a massive role in the existence of our Earth. So we need to make sure to keep our oceans clean and free from any pollution. Trivia time! Did you know two of the most common minerals in seawater are chloride and sodium? Yes, together they make up around 85% of all dissolved minerals in the ocean. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind.